Dave from the Greater Westchester Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for volunteering with us for the annual Hanging of the Greens. This is a service the Chamber has been delivering to downtown merchants for more than 40 years, and we certainly couldn't do it without your help, so we really can't thank you enough. Your personal safety is the most important thing for us, so we want everyone to stay safe and healthy for the holidays, so please follow all the safety guidelines and practice social distancing. Everyone is required to wear a mask at all times when you're with us. You signed up for a particular day and time to help us out. So please arrive on time, not early, not late. This is important to keep our work groups safely separated from each other. And it, each group needs to include at least one and preferably two capable adults. Some of the materials are heavy. Please report to the ground floor of the Chestnut Street Garage at the corner of Chestnut and Walnut Streets in the part of downtown Westchester and across the street from the YMCA at your specified arrival time. When you arrive, please pay attention to the signs and markings on our garage floor. Look for our check-in table located near the fenced-in area and where one of our fabulous staff or volunteer coordinators will greet you. We'll issue your group a work order, or two or three, depending on the size and scope of each job. Then we'll give you enough pine roping, bows, and tools to complete your projects. We'll also give you a ladder appropriately sized for the job. We will ask that one person in your group provide us with a valid photo ID at check-in, and we'll return that to you when you return the ladder and tools at check-out. Now it's time to get busy. Each work order will have the name and address of a business your work order will look something like this. There's a diagram of where the greens should be installed and where the bows should be placed. Each of the businesses have paid for this service, so it's important to follow the diagram. We also want town to look fantastic so shoppers and diners will support our small business community all holiday season long. When you arrive at your destination, carefully review your work order. Hooks should be pre-installed at all of the points where you'll be attaching the greens. If they're not there, you'll have extra hooks in your work kit. And if you're still not sure, call the number included on your email. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using the fake stuff, but the actual pine roping will come in a full roll. It's easiest to work with if you find the end, which will be tucked into the center of the roll and pull it carefully up and through. Mostly you'll be installing the greens around shop windows and doors. Start at the bottom, work up, over and back down, leaving some drape across each span. So we're going to give you plenty of wire. It may be on a paddle or a spool or it may be on individually cut pieces already sized. It's a good idea to double the wire up as you attach at each point on the window or door. Remember to leave some drape here, not taut and not loopy, especially if the store has a sign, you want to make sure to be respectful of that. We're also going to give you plenty of bows so that you can attach one at each of the points where the greens touch the uh, window or door. The bows come with a pretty flimsy red wire. I would say double that up, and if you want to give it a little assist with your green wire, that's a great idea too. You're just going to go through the same hook, high, and around the greens. Make sure that that's tight. We need it to last until New Year's Day. We're going to go each point on the window. While you're working, if you need more pine roping, more bows, or a different size ladder, even additional tools or materials, please just head back over to the garage to pick them up. We'll be waiting for you. When you're all done, if you have leftover pine roping or bows, please return them along with your ladder and tools to the fenced area in the garage. When you complete each job, please take a photo or several photos of your work. We'll ask you to send that to us so we have a reference guide for future years, and maybe we'll post it on the Chamber social media page. Thanks again. We're really so grateful for your time and effort to support the Chamber and contributing to make Westchester the most beautiful downtown in the state. We'll see you this weekend.